This is a video about the might makes right rule. Respectively, the might here makes right here rule. Hello, this is 60 Governance in One Brush, and this is a video about the might makes right rule. The might makes right rule is a rule specific to the Ogo faction, the Ogo Mo tribes, and gives them two instead of one point when it counts on keeping an objective or in case of the big uh, stone horns and such 10 instead of one point it makes the ogres much better to play we tried it out recently on dragon ogres plague ogres and bile trolls it improved the game but didn't make them overpowered anyway i don't think the ogres pay for this ability in points, it doesn't make them more expensive. So for me the only logical solution for the game is to give all monstrous infantry and cavalry around five, four, six uh, wounds, models, uh, this rule. Now we have the giants, the sons of Behemoth with their mightier makes right here rule, which is 10 points for a Gargant, just as the Stone Horns, and 20 for a Mega Gargant. Or if you take the Taker tribe, even 15 and 30 points. So my suggestion is if you play with one another. Tournaments are another thing, it's up to whoever organizes the tournament. But if you play with each other at home or in a shop, then you could make it and take it as a house rule to use the might makes right rule two points instead of one when it comes to holding an objective for all monstrous units that are around that are around four, five, six wounds. So this would apply to trolls, to Femia, Dragon Ogres of course, Stormcast Eternals on Dracoths and Griff Chargers, you name it. All kinds of monstrous units, um, bulgors, of course. Otherwise, they are at a serious disadvantage. We actually expected uh, the rule to become officially for everyone uh, with the Sons of Behemoth battle tome, but it didn't. Also, it didn't come out, as far as I know, in the Trog herd, Celestial tome in the White Dwarf, which improves the trolls, but it doesn't, doesn't give them the might makes right rule, unfortunately. So we will from now on just do this. We tried it out two times, and they still lost against the fire slayers because the fire slayers are tough cookies. Very, very tough cookies. Small, fat, naked, tough cookies. Now the troublesome thing is only what to do with the monsters. Monsters with the rider, of course. So if you have a monster, let's say, 10 wounds upwards with a rider like the stone horn should they also get 10 points there's so many examples there are these nurgle units like uh, moby decks twice born then of course you have heroes like techless and archeon and so on should they count as 10 points i'm not sure i'm still thinking about it we're still thinking about it so I want to know what you think. What do you think about making the might makes right rule for monstrous infantry and cavalry across the board a new rule, at least as a house rule? I think it's a very good idea, but more importantly, what do you think about the 10 points for monsters with riders? The more I think about it, the better I think the idea is. Why not? You could argue it's only for Ogos, but argue with what? What's the rationale behind it? So I think actually it would be better to take this also across the board. Only very big monsters with riders on top, like Gordrak also. Why would he count as one model? He's a one-man army, a one-man menace. Of course he could hold an objective by himself. And of course a large unit of small guys like uh, dwarves and goblins 
and whatnot would still have an, an advantage. Ungors, for example, 40, 50, 60 of them. Okay, tell me what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening and subscribing, joining me on Patreon or sharing the videos with your friends. And see you soon.